I hope. Hmm. Okay, what else do I need to do here? I think that's all. Oh, one more thing. So these practices, I hope they are benefiting you all in some way, <clears throat> supporting you in this moment, mindfully, physically, helping you connect to your breath. So, let me start my music over. While you can find a comfortable seat, just for a few moments, we'll breathe. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to mute everybody. So there's no interruption. So you can sit on your shins if that feels good to you. You can sit in a cross-legged position and you can place both hands into your torso, maybe one on the belly, one on the heart. Close your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths. Maybe breathe out through the mouth. Maybe one more. Inhale deeply. Breathe out through the mouth. Taking a moment to go inward with your breath. Begin to consciously breathe, consciously choose to breathe this powerful ujjayi breath, the victorious breath of our practice. Energizing yourself, nurturing and nourishing yourself with your breath. Breathing through the nostrils, constricting your breath at the back of your throat, letting the breath come into your whole body and down through the entire torso, expanding your lungs forward, back, side to side. And as you breathe, feel your heart, your belly expand into your hands. As you breathe out, let it contract and empty. Choosing this breath to be your guide to take you deep onto your journey of movement, of connection, of being present and mindful, creating right choices for yourself, choices to stay connected to your body and also rooting down into the earth. You can visualize a ruby red energy grounding core taking you deep into the earth to the center core of the earth wrapping your energetic grounding cord around the earth's core around her center and offering your gratitude offering your unconditional love and support for this earth at this time honoring all the resources that we have, all the powerful knowledge within ourselves, within our blood, within our bones, to remember the earth, to stay connected to the earth, to stay connected to your body and out of the mind, out of any fear, Allow yourself to come deep into the nourishing, unconditional love of the mother. 
and let yourself be supported, let yourself be guided, let yourself be loved. Breathing in, choosing your breath, choosing this guidance for yourself. Bring your hands together on your lap. Place one hand, palms um, facing each other and grasp your fingers together, thumbs side by side. Relax your arms here while you're clasping your fingers like a lock. And then we're going to inhale and relax. And then as you exhale, tighten the clasp of your hands, tighten your fingers, tighten your forearms, your upper arms. Also lift your heart up, settle the shoulders, just feel this firmness in your arms. And then as you inhale again, relax. As you exhale, tighten, feel the strength in your arms. As you inhale, again, relax. And one more time, exhale, tighten and firm everything up. Let your arms open, circle through your wrists, circle and open through your hands. Bring your hands back and opposite palm on top and then clasp. Let your thumbs rest side by side. This is Ganesha Mudra, the mudra of removing and also placing obstacles in our own path. So inhale and relax. And then as you slow, deeply exhale, tighten and become the strong, powerful force and then inhale again, relax, removing any obstacles on your way, just passing and flowing through with ease. As you exhale again, tighten, become stronger and more powerful than ever. Inhaling slowly, relax. And then one more time, tighten. As you exhale, as you exhale. And then inhale, release. Let your arms open, right hand down, gentle bend to the right, through the center, left hand down, bend through the left. And just let yourself move side to side can go deeper into your forearm and just really stretch through the sides of your ribs. Pausing for a moment. Couple more times to each side, just opening up the side gates of your body. Continue to breathe, continue that connection to yourself, connection to your roots. And you can visualize yourself as a blade of grass moving in the wind or maybe a seaweed at the bottom of the ocean, just gently swaying in the water. Rooted, connected to the earth, bring yourself to center Come into child's pose, resting your torso over your thighs, forehead to the earth, arms can be around your legs or above. Take a few mindful breaths here. Connect your third eye to the earth. See that center core of the earth within your mind's eye. Allow yourself to have a clear vision of your intention, what you are here to set for yourself, for your practice, for your body, for your soul. What kind of connection are you seeking externally? Take that 
longing within yourself and begin to seek it on the inside, following your guide, your breath, following your own inner wisdom, your own inner teacher. Slow, deep breathing, mindful connection to your body and soul, to your mind, to have the harmony and unity within yourself to find peace, to find ease. Let yourself gently come up. Come up into tabletop position and let's move through some cat and cows, lifting your chin, lifting your tailbone into a cow pose, pausing here. You can wiggle yourself side to side and then shifting into cat, round in, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. You can feel and just twisting gently through the spine, through the back. And then again, coming into a cow pose, lifting the chin, lengthening through the neck, coming into a cat, rounding in, turning in, open your shoulder blades, expand. One more time, coming into cow. Again, into a cat. Maybe shift into a figure eight. Anything that feels good here, any kind of serpentine-like movement, forward and back, you can stay with cat and cow. Go the opposite way, just taking these infinite movements, awakening energy in your body. Come to center, tuck your toes, lift your knees, but stay low with your shins. Let yourself pulse. Pulse up and down through your legs. Claw through your fingertips for more support. Let yourself ground, feel the instinctual animal sensations when we're this close to the earth, primal energy. Let yourself come up into a plank, a high plank. Engage your thighs, belly in. Tuck your tailbone, come up forward, shoulders over your wrists, keep your arms straight, lower your hips, coming into upward dog, lifting the heart, lifting the chin, maybe let yourself sway side to side. Belly in, supporting, lifting back up into down dog, bend your knees, pulse close to the earth, Coming into down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet. Forward fold, walk your hands over to the right. Go as far back as it feels good to you, opening up through the ribs. Walk back through center over to the left. Come back to center, press through the feet as you rise and unwind yourself up. Take your arms through the sides and up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, bring your arms up. Take a hold of your left wrist, pull yourself to the right. Come back to center, pull yourself to the left. Come back to center, big swan dive to the earth. Walk your hands up into a high plank. Settle yourself, shoulders over wrists, pick up your belly, tailbone tucks, engage your thighs. Lower down, chaturanga. Hover if possible. Inhale, Cobra. Bhujangasana, heart forward, chin up. Point your toes, lift your knees. Release. Up into down dog. 
Walk your hands back to your feet. Press down through the feet, unwind. Reach out, return your hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Take a hold of your right wrist, pull yourself to the left. Come back to center, pull yourself to the right. Back to center and fold. Walk your hands up into a high plank, nice and easy walk upon the earth. Firming up, knees or toes lower down. Hover, reopen, re-emerge, cobra. Release to the earth. Shift yourself up, down dog. Stay here, pulsing to your legs. Connect to the earth through your hands, through your palms, through the feet. Take your right leg up. Bring it through between your hands. Left knee off the floor, but always welcome to put it down. Pressing through the feet as you rise yourself up into a low a lunge. Anjani Asana, plug the arms down, square the shoulders. Bring the hands together. Bring it to the heart. Really mindfully bring your hands forward and step your left foot up. Uttanasana at the top of your mat. Press down, unwind. Reach your arms up, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up, take a hold of your left wrist, pull yourself to the right. Come back to center, pull yourself to the left. Come back to center, big slow swan dive to the earth. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Straight legs, straight spine, hands can be on your thighs, shins, or the earth. Release your hands, step your right foot back into a high or low lunge you choose. R rising up, reaching your arms towards the sky as you ground your energy into the earth. Bring the hands to the heart. Very mindfully, return your hands to the earth. Step your left foot back, down dog. Bring yourself up into a high plank. Stay high over your wrists. Just lower your hips into an upward dog. Maybe come into the tops of your toes, on your hands and toes or knees, lifting back up into down dog. Walk your hands back to the feet. Pressing through the feet as you rise up like a wave. Reaching up, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Pull yourself to the left. Come back to center, pull yourself to the right. Come back to center. A slow swan dive to the earth. Walk yourself up the earth. Lower down, chaturanga. Open up into cobra. Remerge, open the heart. Release back into down dog. Ground yourself here, pulse into your legs. Feel the energy of the earth, her support, her unconditional love for you. Connect to her core center with your mind's eye, with your breath, with your energy. Come back to center and lift your left leg up. Mindfully step it through between your hands. Rise up, knee off or on the floor. Anjaniyasana, plug the arms down. Strong support from the earth. Hands come together and to the heart. 
offer it to the earth. Step your right foot up. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha, half lift. Exhale, fold. Pressing through the feet as you rise up. Inhale, pull your right wrist to the left. Come back to your center, pull your left wrist to the right. Come back to your center, a slow swan dive to the earth. Let the crown of your head go towards the earth, letting go of any ego mind. Come up into half lift. Hands to the earth, left foot steps back. Lunge low or high, you choose, rising up. Strong support from the earth, squeeze your thighs in, plug the arms down. Return your hands to the heart. Hands to the mat, stepping back, down dog. Come up into high plank. Shoulders over wrists, hips down like a wave. Heart forward, upward dog. Pick it all up, up into Adha Svanasana and pulse into your legs, claw through your hands. Slow deep breaths. Walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold. Press through the feet, rise up. Hands to the heart. Let's speed it up. Inhale, reach up. Pull yourself to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the earth. Inhale, walk your hands up into a high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, Adho Svanasana, Down Dog. Take your right leg up, step it through. Inhale, rise, Anjani Asana. Exhale, forward fold, left foot steps up. Inhale, rise. Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to the heart, Tadasana. Inhale, reach. Pull your left hand to the right. Come back to center, pull yourself to the left. Back to center and fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, upward dog, hips down, heart forward, chin up. Exhale, down dog, and walk your hands back to the feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Pull yourself to the left. Back to center and to the right. Back to center, exhale, fold. Walk your hands up. Inhaling along the way. Exhale to the earth. Hover and feel the earth here. Inhale, cobra, re-merge and open the heart. Exhale, down dog, ground yourself. Left leg lifts and step it through. Rising up. Exhale, Uttanasana, right foot up. Inhale, rise yourself up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up, pull yourself to the left, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, swan dive to the earth. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, high plank. Exhale, hips down, upward dog. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down dog. Walk your hands to the feet. Inhale, all the way up into standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a pause here. You can step to the center of your mat. Take a moment in the mountain pose. Feet right under your hip bones. You can lift your 10 toes. You can shift your feet side to side. Breathe, feel your body, feel the heat, feel your practice, feel your heart, feel your mind, feel the flow of energy. Notice any sensation of your practice whatever it may be, comfortable, pleasing, or maybe uncomfortable and dreading. Whatever it is, just be present in this space, in this moment. Let's come into a tree pose, grounding down through the right leg, bring your left foot into your ankle, calf or thigh, avoid your knee, bring the hands to the heart, ground down that ruby red grounding cord. You can bring the arms up, that feels good to you. You can create this temple body mudra with your hands right above the crown, honoring yourself as the tree of life. You can open the arms out wide and circle them all the way around and back up. Just really mindful movements. You can also create one arm up, one arm down, whatever feels good here. Softening through the hands, maybe circling through the wrists, Maybe creating a certain mudra that feels good to you, connecting your thumb with any finger. The thumb is the fire that ignites our whole being. The index is the air that gives and brings inspiration and openness and expansion of healing. The middle finger is akasha, the spirit, the ether, the memories, the knowing. The ring finger is earth, our connection to our bones, our blood, our roots, our ancient memories and ancestors. The pinkies are the water that flows through our hips, our dreams, our creativity, our expression of our visions and desires. Returning it all to center to the heart. Connect all five fingertips together into a sphere. That sphere of all connections, the sphere of love. Releasing your foot. Maybe circle through this ankle one way and the other. And then root down through your left leg, the root of the heart, bringing your right foot into your thigh, calf, or ankle. Do not place it around your knee in any way. Connect your hands to the heart. Again, ground down into the earth. Slow, deep breaths. Bring your arms up if you wish. You can always stay at the heart. You can open, create this temple body mudra to honor yourself, to honor your body, to give yourself a little bit of self-love, self-acknowledgement, acceptance, unconditional, compassionate love and mercy, no judgment. 
can open your arms out wide. You can create a flow through the arms, just softening it. You can gently move in a circle or however way you desire to move through the crown of your head, opening the mind, connecting to the whole story, connecting to the whole of life to all the trees, to all the living beings, all the plants, all the medicine, all the resources in the earth. Let yourself root down strong and rise up wide and expansive to open yourself up to all the possibilities of transformation, change, of healing, recognizing yourself for who you are, in this moment. Returning back to the heart space, creating that sphere mudra, connection of love within yourself. Releasing back down, circle through your left foot. Let's step the feet wide, turn your toes out, sink into goddess pose, bringing your hips, knee height or higher, open your arms out, let yourself glide gently, you can circle through your wrists, one way and then the other way, breathe down into your legs, bring your hands to the heart space, and then take your palms and face your palms each up, face the palms each other, and then again, clasp your hands. And this time, keep this mudra right in front of your heart. Inhale, straighten your legs and relax your hands. As you exhale, pull down into your legs and tighten your grip, tighten your arms around your heart. Tighten and strengthen your lungs. As you inhale again, straighten your legs and relax your grip. Exhale deep into your legs and then tighten and firm your shoulders, arms, forearms, hands, your heart, your lungs. Bring healing into your chest. Inhale, relax and rise. And one more time, exhale. Sink deep to the earth, maybe pulse here. Feel the strength in your heart. Inhale, rise, open your arms. Bring it back in, opposite sides. Grip, relax, inhale. Exhale, sink deep, tighten, firm up. Create your own power, courage, strength in the heart. Inhale, relax. Exhale, go deep. Tighten it up. Feel the power of your rooting energy in the legs. Inhale, relax. Stay calm, at peace. One more time, engage, activate yourself, ignite that power within the heart, the strength and courage to overcome any fear. Again, relax, open your arms, turn your toes in, bring your arms up, the sphere mudra above, all five fingertips connected, Begin to hinge forward. Begin to offer yourself. Offer all elements within you deep to the earth. Connect your hands to the earth. And walk your hands up, away from your hips. Keep your hips right above your heels. And then stretch up, lower your chest. Let your head go between your upper arms. Feel the length in the spine like a river flowing down towards the earth. 
from your tailbone. You can shift your hips gently side to side. Walk your hands back under, under your heart. Heel toe your feet in, coming into a wide squat, shifting your hips down, hands to the heart. You can take your elbows, gently pressing your thighs away. Maybe let yourself sway here, side to side. Close your eyes for a moment, center, ground, feel the strength of your thighs, the strength of your legs, your calves, your ankles, your feet, grounding you, rooting you into the power of the earth, into her healing abilities, into all of her resources, her nourishing, mothering energy of love and mercy and protection. Allow yourself this moment to feel safe, to feel embraced by your own breath, by your own practice. Release your hands, coming again onto your shins or cross-legged position. You can also come into a hero pose, opening your shins, sitting in between your calves, or stay on your shins or cross-legged. Just giving your legs, your quads, a little bit of stretch here. You can bring your hands onto your thighs and just draw on your hands towards your knees and back a couple of times. Pressing down, grounding down, releasing what may have been stored in your thighs, in your quads, any fight or flight, sensation of fear, of shock, of stress. And now knowing that you can find a little bit more peace within yourself, open your arms, circle through the wrists, adding a little bit of a gentle flow through the arms. Bring your fingertips down and high, open the heart. You can gently wiggle yourself, shoulder side to side. Open the heart and give yourself an embrace. Bring your arms in, turn in, tuck your chin, take a hold of the opposite shoulder, stay here. And again, just let yourself twist and wiggle. Just feeling the stretch on each side of your torso. Tuck your chin in. And then again, slowly, mindfully come forward and open up. Soften through the arms. Bring your fingertips down. Again, press down to lift the heart. And one more time, bring the arms around. Opposite arm on top. Give yourself this big hug, big infinite embrace of love, of divine nurturing support of the mother earth. And then opening up, let yourself shift up from your legs, coming into a seat, coming into a bolt pose, Point your toes, lift your legs, hold your thighs. Lengthen up through your spine, heart forward. Soften your gaze between your, your big toes. You can open the arms, you can straighten your legs a little more. Let yourself descend a little bit and hold here and hover. Begin to shake or vibrate, ignite. Come a little bit lower, a little bit lower, hover. Let yourself slowly come down, placing your hands onto your chest and belly. Slow deep breaths. And again, feel your chest and belly rise towards your hands.
Bend your knees, bring your knees into your chest, take a hold of your shins, rock yourself side to side. Straighten both legs, take your hands behind your thighs. Walk your hands up behind your legs, maybe onto the feet, maybe bringing your legs on top of your chest and top of your belly, just letting yourself give yourself a little bit of love and nurturing support to your roots, gratitude, acknowledgement, and releasing. If you'd like to add any one pose, a twist, your knees to the side, to each side, a bridge or a happy baby, you're welcome to practice that. And whenever you're ready, bring yourself into the final pose of Shavasana, stretching your legs out to the edges of your mat, letting your arms open to each side, palms up. And take a moment to settle here to come here into this resting pose. Allow yourself a few moments to ground, to integrate your practice, to allow yourself to rest in this moment. If there was any tension in your body, just bring your awareness to the whole of your body from your toes up through your legs, belly, chest, back, arms, fingertips, your head, your mind, your face, your jaw, your eyes. And let yourself rest in this space of a warm and friendly darkness within yourself. Let yourself be taken care of by your presence, knowing that your presence is enough. Your presence is enough. Your presence is enough.
us in your awareness and through the breath. I see your awareness and through the earth, the earth that is holding you in this moment beneath, beneath the floor, beneath your mat, the earth that always comes up to wherever we are to support us fully. Rest your awareness into her center core, grounding yourself, rooting yourself, wrapping yourself around her wisdom of millions of years. Allow yourself that deep inner knowing that you are loved, that you are supported, that you are protected and safe. knowing that your breath will always take you into that safe place within yourself to remember who you are, to remember that you are not just this physical body, that you are something more and that you are powerful more than you know and you are, you are yourself the intention of this earth. You are the dream of this earth. You are the desire of this earth. You are the dream that came true for the earth, for the mother. And she's here to always protect you. So let yourself rest into this safe space within as you begin to stir and awaken and begin to come back into your body, into the room you're in, coming back through any gentle stretching, wiggling through your fingertips and toes, taking a deeper breath, and you can con keep connecting this energy to the center core of the earth, or you can bring it back in, drawing it back into yourself. Knowing that you can always come back to this space within your heart, within your mind, within your soul. And let yourself gently Stretch and bend your knees and come into a fetal position. Shifting in any way and eventually bringing yourself up into a seat, just very mindfully. Placing both hands onto your body, into your torso. With so much gratitude, love, honor, awareness peace and just feeling your body and giving yourself the full gratitude in your heart full gratitude to your connection to yourself and bringing the hands together at the heart space and gently bowing so much gratitude to the divine gift of yoga, dedicating this practice to the benefit of all living beings, to the benefit of all of humanity. I bow deeply to the divine light within each one of you. Thank you and namaste. Thank you so much, everybody.